So bone marrow transplant, there are two types. One is autologous, where your own bone marrow is used for transplant. And other is allogeneic, where someone else's bone marrow is used for transplant. Coming to autologous stem cell transplant or autologous bone marrow transplant. So this is used when you have a cancer which is difficult to control with standard chemotherapy. Not normally, quite a number of cancers can be cured with chemotherapy. But certain cancers which are very strong or very resistant, their chemotherapy is not able to finish them off. There we need high dose chemotherapy. We need to give 10 times higher dose of chemotherapy. So, but when you give such a big dose of chemotherapy, your bone marrow gets wiped out and you cannot ever make blood again. So for that, we need some of your own bone marrow. So what we do is before giving big dose of chemotherapy, we take out your bone marrow and store it in a cryopreserve in liquid nitrogen at minus 180 degrees. And then it can be used after giving big dose of chemotherapy and that is known as autologous stem cell transplant. This is usually used for multiple myeloma, lymphoma and certain solid tumors like neuroblastoma and some brain tumors etc. Now coming to allogeneic bone marrow transplant that means you are taking from someone else. So these are the conditions where either your bone marrow is defective like thalassemia or sickle cell disease patient. There are a lot of thalassemia patients and they are offered transplant as a cure. Then the second problem is that your bone marrow, you have stopped making blood, your bone marrow has failed. That is known as aplastic anemia or, or certain genetic disorders like inherited bone marrow failure syndrome like Fanconi. So there also we can put a new bone marrow and fix that problem. Third can be that your bone marrow has cancer like leukemia, blood cancer. Then the fourth is there are certain genetic disorders which are known as metabolic disorders where you are not making certain proteins or certain enzymes. So these metabolic disorders, some of them can be cured by bone marrow transplant because the new bone marrow brings that protein which is lacking.